We've seen Sony come out with a couple of great flagship devices in the Xperia Z and ZL. And then they didn't forget about the mid-range market when they came out with the Xperia SP. Well, they're still not done yet because their new tablet offering has just been released. And it just might be the best one of the bunch. Hey, it's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. It's no secret that Sony is pretty good at designing their many devices, but it's hard not to be impressed by the Sony Xperia Tablet Z, or Z, because you've never seen a tablet quite like this. The fully rectangular shape of the Xperia Z smartphone makes a return in a much larger 10-inch design. It's got angular corners and is flat all over. 10-inch tablets are like interactive slates, so it's great to see a slate design taken quite literally in this Sony tablet. What is probably most impressive is how thin and light the Tablet Z is. 0.27 inches thick and only 495 grams. The result of this feat in design is quite possibly the easiest handling tablet ever. It is really nimble and easy to grip due to the flat sides and thinness. You may find yourself tossing this bad boy around with one hand the way you would a spiral notebook. It's easy to feel comfortable with a tablet that is as light and nimble as this. Aside from the camera optics on the back, you get a completely black textured back that doesn't slip about when in the hand. The front of this Xperia tablet is also completely black, with only the Sony logo and front-facing camera up top. On the left are all of the buttons, including the volume rockers and the iconic Xperia metal silver power button. The speaker is comprised of two slits on the bottom of both sides, while the micro USB and micro SD slots are on the bottom covered by small bits of plastic. As you may infer from the Xperia Z smartphone, these plastic covers only mean one thing water resistance. Yes, this entire 10-inch tablet can be submerged in water and still remain operational. We've seen this on smartphones already, but for a tablet, it's pretty damn cool. A great display makes or breaks a 10-inch tablet. Thankfully, Sony put a pretty massive 1920 by 1200 resolution screen on the Xperia Tablet Z. Being rated at 224 ppi is very good, considering this device will typically be far enough away from your face to make pixelation much less of an issue, though text and all media still look wonderful nonetheless. The viewing angle issues from Sony smartphones seems to have disappeared in this tablet, which may or may not make that much sense due to the larger screen. The Bravia Engine 2 makes a return and it does its job to bring more contrast and vibrancy, though the color temperature does tend to the warmer side. Make no mistake though, this high resolution display will bring loads of fun to your Android tablet experience. With all of the Snapdragon 600 devices hitting the market these days, it might be a bit of a disappointment to find that the Sony Xperia Z sports only the 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S4 Pro that powered last year's best smartphones. Thankfully, this combination with the Adreno 320 and 2GB of RAM still holds up and is far from slow. And 2.2 Benchmark puts this tablet right around where its smartphone counterpart stands on the ladder, pretty squarely around the 20,000 mark. As you can see here, Epic Citadel looks really great and smooth going through all its elements, ending with a very high performance rating. In practice, the S4 Pro definitely shows its tried and true speed as the Xperia tablet flies through its UI. Admittedly, there are some intermittent moments of lag, though they are not only rare, but they do nothing to truly hinder what is otherwise a speedy experience. Multitasking with the small apps and even going app by app was as easy as ever, further proving that the Xperia Tablet Z is a great performer for everything from media to work. Coupled with that great screen, it is certainly a wonderful platform for Android gaming as well. Work or play, you'll get everything done in a timely manner with this tablet. Not to mention, you'll do so in style. Hardware on the Xperia Tablet Z is largely standard, though of course the big advantage it has over most all other tablets is that water resistance. We already mentioned the micro SD card slot that can help bolster the 16 or 32 gigabytes of onboard memory. You've got the typical accelerometer, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, though an LTE version is available overseas. A nice addition of a IR blaster allows for control of TVs and related devices. NFC is available here too, actually. So if you take advantage of its data transfer capabilities or even just utilize smart tags from time to time, then the Xperia Tablet Z has you covered. The stereo speakers are side mounted, which is better than being on the rear, but the sound from this tablet is really decent at best. Perhaps to help with the water resistance, the speakers sound decidedly held back. The sound is not particularly rich, but I will say that the volume level is quite impressive. Yeah. 
The real gravy of the hardware department lies in the battery. It's great to use a tablet like the Xperia until it runs out of juice. Fortunately, Sony put a massive 6,000 mAh battery in the Tablet Z and it goes for a great deal of time. Running a whole season of Community ran down the battery to half-life in just over 4 hours, making full media usage probably last up to 8 full hours on a complete charge. With less rigorous usage, you're likely to get up to two whole days of work and play done with no real issues, especially with the power-saving features. That's really impressive, and definitely is one of the Tablet Z's best-selling points. Compared to its smartphone counterpart, the Xperia Tablet Z does not come with a 13 megapixel camera and instead gets 8. The app does get the same elements of superior auto and the many different scene settings for getting that perfect shot. Otherwise, there are the typical abilities like touch to focus, touch to capture, and burst shots. The extras do include HDR and a sweeping panorama mode. The quality from the resulting pictures in this camera is decent at best. It definitely does not perform as well as the Xperia Z and ZL smartphone cameras as photos have a level of grain even in full daylight shots and definitely more in lower light shots. The lack of a flash diode is an obvious giveaway that the optics on the Xperia Tablet Z are much like the cameras for pretty much any other tablet. It's there because it has to be, not because it will really blow anyone away with its performance. And finally, we have the software. If you are already familiar with the Xperia UI from Sony's smartphones, the experience here is largely the same. The darker motif of this Jellybean 4.1.2 powered UI is complemented by colors in darker tones, a general look reminiscent of Ice Cream Sandwich. The notification dropdown is kept on the bottom right this time, and it has some quick settings available in the shade. Navigation buttons are on the bottom left, while the small apps and remote control shortcuts are centered. You access apps via a button at the top right this time, and many apps are obviously given a split-screen motif to take advantage of the tablet screen, leaving menus on the left for content to be displayed on the right. Other than these location changes, however, the experience is very much what you'd expect. Home screens, app drawer, apps, and settings pages are all customizable by a few themes that simply change the color schemes. The additions include Jelly Bean's Google Now and Sony's small apps, much like in the Xperia smartphones. The small apps are small overlays that go over your current workspace and help support quick multitasking. One addition here is the Clip Manager, which takes an editable screenshot. Sony stables like the Walkman are here too, so even after all these years, the Walkman name still manages to be synonymous with good music players. Social Life is an app that combines the feeds of Facebook, Twitter, and other social networks, so you can use that if you're into that sort of thing. All in all, you get a great suite of software in the Xperia Tablet Z. Productivity and media are both simple to do on such a stylish device. As a premium tablet, the Sony Xperia Z unsurprisingly comes with a pretty hefty price tag, $499 for the 16GB version and $599 for 32GB. While this might be a little steep, it's simply my opinion that having one of the more unique looking and performing tablets in the market does help the price make some sense. And so, there you have it. Sony just might have hit another home run with this foray into the 10-inch tablet market. Bringing out the best of the Sony Xperia Z smartphone into a much larger form factor has resulted in one of the best looking and best handling tablets that are available today. One that is more than capable of work and play. When the looks alone can turn heads and bring out the oohs and ahs, it's really great to see that the rest of the tablet can garner the same response. For all of the best coverage, stay tuned to the Android Authority YouTube channel. Drop us a like down below and don't forget to subscribe. And then head over to androidauthority.com because we're your source for all things Android.